Okay, so part two of the lesson, shh, guys, part two of this lesson for LCM deals now with monomials and variables. So in part one, we went over just numbers, okay, finding the LCM of numbers and LCD. Now we're going to find LCM of monomials and LCD of monomial fractions. All right, so we have 9xy and 15x squared y. We need to do the prime factorization. Usually with monomials, the prime factorization is pretty simple. And we need to write the entire thing in expanded form. 3 times 3 times x times y times y. Do you have that? You see that? Okay. Now, 3 times 5 times x times x times y. So now we're going to match up our common factors. What common factors do we have here? Threes. 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 X and Y. What's my GCF? 3X times 6. No, my GCF is 3XY. For my LCM, it's 3 times X times Y. And now what do I do? Bring in my leftovers. Okay? And I get 45X squared Y squared. I multiply my numbers together. I have two X's and two Y's in my expanded form, so I'm going to write those as exponents. All right. Now, in the second one, let's see here. Oh, where did it go? Example four. Okay. In the second one, we have 26AB squared and 28AC to the third. We're going to factor each one of these monomials and try to find both the GCF and the LCM. Okay, so yes, we do the prime factorization of 26, 2 and 13, 2, 2 and 7. Stop, guys. So we write it in expanded form. All right, what common factors can we match up? A, 2, and A. So what's our GCF? 2A. 2a. Now we we write the LCM in expanded form 2 times a times 2 times 7 times 13 times b times b times c times c times c. And guys, you've got to be careful with this because, you know, earlier today I'm walking around and looking at papers and I see you forgot a 2 or you forgot a 7 or an a. If you forget any part of it, your LCM is going to be wrong. You have to make sure and that's why the expanded uh, form, writing it in the expanded form is so important because it really helps you just double check to make sure you haven't forgotten anything. When you multiply everything together, you get 364 AB squared C to the third. Who got that right? Who got that right the first time? Okay, that's still a decent number. Um, all right, so that's it for LCM of monomials. Okay, so now, in example five, we're finding LCD of variable expressions. We're finding the LCD of variable expressions and then rewriting the expression. So we're not adding or subtracting or multiplying or dividing. We're just simply rewriting the expression with an LCD. So in this one, on, on your first one, you have just numbers, three and four. Go ahead and find your LCD and then multiply and create your equivalent fractions. What's your LCD? Okay. So we have 12 is our LCD. So 3 times what equals 12? 3 times 4 equals 12. So what's 4 times x? What's 4 times x? 4x. 4x. Go ahead and do the numerator now for the second fraction. What's it going to be? 3x. 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 Very good, because you multiply top and bottom by 3. And then we wrote the equivalent variable expression. All right, so we find LCD, but now your variables are coming into play. They might be in your numerator, they might be in your denominator, or both. Okay, so it's just really important that we just pay attention to some of these um, rules. All right, here's our second one. So here we have 4y squared in one denominator and 5xy in the other denominator. I have to find my LCD. This is not as simple as, oh, well, I have 3 and 4 and my LCD is 12 and I can count my multiples. Now I need to do 
off to the side a quick prime factorization of 4y squared. Well, what's the prime factorization of 4? 2. 2 times 2. Times y times y. I just need to break it down. All right, you don't necessarily have to do upside down division unless you need to. All right? And 5 is already prime, right? Yep. Times x times y. Are there any common factors that you can group? The y. So in your LCD, you have a y, but now what else do you have to do? You have to add the leftovers. Not add them, but multiply in your leftover numbers. So now, what's 2 times 2 times 5? Uh, 20. 20. And how many x's? 1. And how many y's? 2. So that's my LCD. So I do the prime factorization to find my LCD, and now I, I have to ask myself, how did I get from 4y squared to 20xy squared? What's missing? Okay, well, 4 times what is 20? 5. And what else is down here? I have a x out of nowhere, so I've got to multiply by an x. Do I need to multiply by a y? Um, no, you already have a y. I already have a y squared down there, so I'm good. So I have to multiply the bottom by 5x to get to my new denominator. So what does that mean I multiply the top by? 5x. 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 What's 5x times 3x? 15x squared. 15x squared. Very good. x times x is x squared. I want you to try to figure out what your numerator is going to be in the second fraction. All right, so 5 to 20, what do I multiply by? 4. And then I already have my x, so then I just multiply by y to get to what my y squared. So 8y is in my numerator. All right, who got it right? Who got it right? 8y. Okay, so now you're going to do 1 completely on your own. Three x over two a b, and four over four b c. Okay, two a b. That's already factored. Times over two times two times b times c. Okay, so I factored out my denominators. I had a two, and I had a b in common. So two times. Hold on. Yeah, let me just let me just undo this. All right, so I had a 2 in common, and I had a B in common. So my LCD is 2 times B, and then what's my leftovers? Times 2. Times 2 times A times C. Times 2 times A times C. So what's 2 times 2? 4. 4 A, B, C. Okay. So I've got two fractions over here, 4ABC and 4ABC. So how do I get from 2AB to 4ABC? Times it by 2 what? 2C. Two C. Two C. Times it by 2C. So when you multiply the top by 2C, what do you get? 6CX. 6CX. So that's what you were missing, Austin. Was a C. Yeah, 6CX. And then, okay, how do you get from 4BC to 4ABC? One. Times it by A. That's all you have to do. Top and bottom is multiply by A. So 4 times A is 4A. All right, and there you wrote your equivalent variable expressions with your LCD. All right, who got it right? Oh, yeah, right. Good. Awesome. If you understand that, that's everything you need to know for section 4.4, part two.